Okay, so you got three minutes to get to 4,000. Right, so go down 4,000. Reduce your power. Reduce your speed. Reduce your speed. You're going way too fast. Okay, so we're going to go down, do the circle, right? So you have to, what's your, cir what's your minimum for circling? Okay, you might, as well put your, you might as well put your heading now, right? Get everything all ready. So your final approach fix, you got 400 feet to go. So you should, right? No, uh, no, not really, because you go there down to 2700, right? Yeah, you can do it right now. Now you're to Debbie. Put it down 2,700. I'll get that. 2,700. Go down. Okay. And you're, you might as well go and put one notch of flaps in circles, so we won't use more than two. It'll slow you down a little bit, so you don't have to go down so fast. 110. 100 to 110 would be good about now. Now, the autopilot's going to go back and forth, especially the slower you go, kind of, the servos try to make the correction. So, a lot of this, you'll find out, especially on localizer, it's almost better to, once you get settled, is to hand fly it. Okay. 2,700. So, look here, you got a minute and a half to go. It's perfect. minute and a half to go 600 feet, so that's perfect. Now we look at the chart. If you have this up, this is, I know you like to look down, but it's really nice to take advantage of the technology here, right? So we're coming up to Debbie 2700. You got your traffic there anyway, so that gives you some ideas there. Where at? You can zoom it in. There you go, perfect. Because that's really what you want right now, right? It's close in traffic. Yeah, right now, try not to go any lower, okay? So now you're Debbie. Are you Debbie yet? Nope, okay, so 2700, perfect. This is the hardest part when you have to level off at each one of these segments. That's a pretty steep uh, descent. From Debian is 7 degrees, so at 100 knots, even at 90 knots, Tigre, 1100 feet a minute. Okay, now you got it down. Reduce power, don't go over 90. Push your nose down, you got to go to 1100 feet a minute. Right? Reduce the power, add another notch of flaps if you want to so you don't go fast without cooling off the airplane. Great. When you get to a thousand feet above the airport, then you can put the mixture rich and make sure your your props are uh, full full RPM. Keep on going down. If you want to, you can tap tag vertical speed. See, look at that. I mean, that's steep. D slow down. Don't go above ninety, because then you like that increase another hundred and twenty feet up. There you go. Right. Got it. We're on final one nautical mile final.
to answer him. Answer her. Midfield circle south. Which two seven left. Yeah, always do the full runway. You're below minimums. Yep. Gotta watch that. And it, she even comes up and says minimums. So stay at fifteen hundred. Go back to fifteen hundred. It's hard with everybody, including me, talking to you, but watch your speeds. Great, we're on our way to Neal Aviation to get the G1000XI upgrade. Good, much better. Good. Bueno. Okay, so the airport's at basically 400 feet. Yep, so you got it. Perfect. And right when you turn south, you can level the wings for a split second and turn your heading bug to 090. Move your heading bug all the way over just to help you. Okay, that, okay now turn. That's about how far you want to go. Okay, now you're just in a left pattern for 2-7 left. And we can actually put the airport chart up as an additional tool. Don't get too close. Go to the right just a little bit. Just so you don't have to do a steep turn. Looks perfect. Then base, I'd put a second notch of flaps. And did you put your mixture and everything, Rich? You're a thousand feet by the airport. Just push it and push, push, push. That's what's there. That's what those things are for. Got it. Nice job. Beautiful day in San Diego. Okay. Start your descent. Reduce your power. Another notch of flaps. Reduce your power. Okay. We want to be about 80 on base. Okay. There you go. There's all those towers. the nose down, reduce power, you're high. This is tough because we've got the rattlesnake. That's where, you know, right in this area is where that Learjet went in trying to do the same, uh, trying to do the same thing at night. It's hard enough during the day. I'd recommend full flaps and slow down to about 70, 75 right here. There you go. Yep, yep gears down. Go to the right about three feet. There you go. Looks great. Looks perfect. Get closer before you level off. Okay, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down, slow down. Slow down. There. There you go. Got it. Got a little bit. We're going to go left here. But we're going to go at Delta 3. And Tower uh, 13709, we're going to be uh, going to Neil Aviation. Yeah, great. Yeah, that's a great new location. Thank you. Uh, 709 Delta 3, then ground. Okay. Pass the line. Pass the whole line. Pass the whole line, yeah, because the whole line means a runway environment, right? Now you're with ground. Okay, stop there. 
There you go. And then you can switch and contact them. At Delta 3. Neil. <laughs> that way. That way. <laughs> so remember, you've really got to think far ahead on all the next steps. You can't just look at this leg. You have to look at the next one and the next one and the next one and figure out and have all that set. So once you're established on a localizer, on circle, once you got that, or on anything, if you're in circle, once you're on that, that course, you can put your heading bug for your circle right away. So you have that done. And then once you come down, that you left that at 2,700. You should have put that down for your mist, for your circle altitude, your MDA. So you have that to be able to look at it because you went right through it. So you keep it tight. Watch that. And it's really, really steep. And you can see the vase at that time. 